Hi everyone, and welcome to this video. In uh, seasonal festive cheer, I've decided to do a video recommending uh, different sim racing products. Um, primarily as a guide for friends and family of those that are into sim racing. Um, I have split the video down into price brackets: um, zero to ten pounds, ten to twenty-five, twenty-five to uh, fifty, etc., etc. If you look in the video, etc., etc., if you if you look in the video description, you'll see that um, I've time marked where each of the sections are. So feel free to skip ahead to the um, budget uh, that. You start in the zero to ten pound price bracket. I'm going to recommend several um, games. So first of all we've got Assetto Corsa, which is, um, Santa's got his thumbs up here, is my recommendation in this price bracket. It's uh, an absolute bargain at £3.09, it's uh, I think 90% off discount at the moment. Um, it's a wonderful game, um, one of the best simulators if you like, it's got really good physics, really good graphics, very playable, um, great online league system. So well recommend that one. And moving on to the next recommended game is Project Cars 2. Now this has been superseded by Project Cars 3, but all the reviews suggest that Project Cars 2 is the better game, it's the better simulator. Um, strictly speaking, it's not much of a simulator, it's more an arcade game, but it's extremely playable, great online setup for racing other people. Um, and yeah, it comes highly recommended from the community. And lastly, in this price bracket, we have iRacing. Now, iRacing uh, is listed here at eight ninety nine, but really and truly, it's a subscription service. Um, so it's not a one off um, fee like the other games. Um, but it's probably the most played online game of all. Uh, personally, I don't like it from a professional simulator point of view but you can't beat it for online gaming um, racing other people around the world and the class structures that they have so uh, yeah check it out <coughs> in the 10 to 25 pound bracket we've got um, these products so first one my favorite sim title the one that all the professional simulation companies use and that's r factor 2 so it's got some um, brilliant content, it's got the best physics of all of the sim racing games and um, can't recommend it enough and at 12 89 it's uh, got a huge discount on its normal price now this next game Assetto Corsa Competizione is uh, the new version of Assetto Corsa um, it's a big step forward in its graphics, it's probably one of the best uh, looking games um, contents coming on uh, fast for it, uh, and the physics is a big step over, a big step up on the original Assetto Corsa. So at thirteen ninety nine, it's well worth looking at. Now moving away from um, games and on to sort of hardware, um, you can't beat a pair of gloves when you're racing seriously and these are pretty much the cheapest gloves you'll get. I've got a pair myself um, and I don't think they're bad at all. For £14.99 they're an absolute bargain and hence why I've got Father Christmas giving his thumbs up there. So um, well worth having a look at. There's more gloves coming later. At £19.98 we've got a sound card. There's plenty of uh, options for sound cards in this sort of price bracket, uh, say up to £30. If you're um, getting serious about sim racing and you want better sound, if, certainly if you want to fit um, you know, speakers and a surround sound system that we list later, you'll want a decent sound card. Uh, for 20 quid, you can't go wrong. Uh, you know, look on Amazon. This one's on Amazon. The description, uh, sorry, the link for each of these is included in the video description. So please check that out. Moving on to 25 to 50 pound price bracket, we have custom gloves from Abruzzi. 
now uh, you need to check out their website which is uh, brutzy.com uh, the links in the description uh, now you can customize these gloves you can add your name and number and they have various other options um, different types of gloves short longer and um, ones that you can put uh, pictures on now the only issue you might have with these is um, whether or not they'll be delivered in time for Christmas but £27.30 for the amount of customization you can get it's pretty cool uh, right boots these are karting boots that I found on Amazon uh, I've got a pair and I find them quite comfortable and perfect for sim racing and at £42 you're not going to get a better bargain moving on to 50 to £100 price bracket First thing we have is the Abruzzi boots. So, like the Abruzzi gloves that I mentioned earlier, these are customizable. You can have different colours. You can also have your name and number and your uh, country flag included on the on the boot. And at 68 quid for all that customization, pretty good. Uh, but like with the gloves, please check whether or not their lead times will still uh, get these delivered in time for Christmas or not. Uh, another popular. Uh, sim upgrade is a handbrake now um, normally handbrakes are in the several hundred pounds region and later on I'll be mentioning the Husingfeld one but these are really popular because they're quite cheap um, build quality is not great but they're very playable uh, especially with um, some of the sort of rally games and at 80 pounds uh, you get what you pay for but it's a uh, it's still a highly recommended component now these are just wonderful wireless headset um, I've been providing these for a while to my customers because I think they're absolutely wonderful no need to get tied up with wires when you're playing the sound quality is great, the microphone included with it so they're from Asus so moving on to the 100 to 200 pound bracket the uh, first item we have is a base shaker kit which is one of my products you'll find it on our website gpsimrigs.com and we've got Father Christmas giving us another thumbs up because it's uh, one of the best things I've added to my rig it's um, adds so much immersion it really brings the rig alive you can feel the uh, sort of jolt as you change gear you can feel the rumbling of the engine and when you run over rumble strips you get a um, distinct uh, rumble from that um, from the speakers indicating where you are on the grid on the track which is really useful so yeah I can't recommend base shakers enough uh, there are various options out there I think my kit is pretty much the cheapest um, and it comes with documents. So the next product is a set of Asher Racing paddle uh, shifters now the picture shows two paddle shifters they come as a pair but they also come with a mounting bracket and the cables required to fit them so um, have a look at their website um, which is in the description of the video um, these I use on my own rig and, and provide them on my customer rigs I think they're absolutely brilliant, the snap action is fantastic so yeah take a look every sim racer wants a proper bucket seat uh, this is pretty much the cheapest you'll get and it's um, I think pretty nicely styled and everyone rates them uh, that I've like, seen reviews of so 130 quid, pretty much the best bargain you're going to get for bucket seat. Moving on to two to three hundred pound price bracket. First up, we've got the Husingveld uh, sequential shifter for 200 pounds. Um, these are again what I use on my rigs. They've got a lovely snap action, um, reliable customer service from Husingveld is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm a distributor for them, so that you could say I'm biased, but I've been rating these. You know, for a long time, way before I was a distributor, um, and I wouldn't use anything else myself. Okay, next up is the Logitech surround sound system, at two hundred and nineteen pounds from Amazon. Um, there's been a lot of chat recently on all the sim racing forums about surround sound systems, and this one um, gets the thumbs up uh, from what I can see. Uh, pretty decent price for a really good sound system that gives a great deal of immersive sound to your sim rig which you know adds to the experience when you're racing next up we have the 28 inch Asus gaming monitor 
for £223. I believe this is the um, probably the best, cost, most cost effective of the gaming monitors that you're likely to find. And a 28 inch with the uh, distance that you usually fit these from the rig um, gives a great pixel density, so you get a nice, sharp, clear um, image. And if you buy three of these for a triple monitor set up, uh, I think that's the way to go. You can get um, sort of uh, pieces that goes in between each uh, monitor to hide the uh, extremes of it, uh, sort of I hide the bezel. So um, yeah, check that out. That's uh, a good monitor. I've used them on some of my customer rigs before, and I've had no complaints. As I said earlier, when we're talking about the cheaper handbrake, this is the um, Husingveld Lotel handbrake. Um, it's got a better action than the cheap one. Uh, it's got a more sort of natural race car uh, feel to it, and it's two hundred and twenty-five pounds at the moment. Well, Santa's got his thumbs up again, so this is a recommended uh, product in this price range. It's the Steam uh, Stream Deck um, button box. Each button's configurable to do different things with your computer and within the sim racing game. So you can use it for you know, controlling your cameras in the game, or you can use it for controlling your OBS for your streaming. You can just use it for switching between different apps. Um, so customizable it's unbelievable and like I say each of the icons can be changed um, to whatever suits so for £230 it's a really useful piece of kit and so many people have got them and recommend them that I felt I had to include it in this list triple monitor stand this is one of my offerings one of our new products um, it's a floor mounted triple monitor stand, highly adjustable and also very sturdy. We'll take up to 32 inch monitors. Um, we've just designed um, some of the bracketry on it to be a big improvement over the competition. So um, if you're in the market for a triple monitor uh, stand then um, please check that one out. So that was the last in that price range, so into 300 to 400 pounds. And first up is uh, aluminium profile um, sim rig. So this is one of my offerings, but you'll find um, lots of different companies offering aluminium profile rigs. Now they're, they offer massive advantages over um, the sort of fabricated steel rigs that you'll see a lot of. These are highly adjustable, highly customizable. You can fit uh, you know most of the accessories that come for rigs these days will have bracketry designed to fit on an alley profile. Um, so you can change so much of the rig you can and what we've got in this design that we offer is one that can be uh, moved in the pedal area up down and also for angle so it allows you to co easily configure between a sort of GT car layout or a Formula 1 car layout where you'd have your feet up higher so um, yeah, one to look out for. Um, but like I say, there's offerings from various different companies, all using these same alley profiles. So it d just depends which one suits your needs. Um, this isn't the only type of rig we do, but we do customizable uh, or sort of custom rigs to suit people's needs. So if you've got something um, in mind, you know, please drop us a line, and we'll see if we can sort you out. And as you can see, Santa's got his thumbs up. My absolute favourite sim racing component of all time, uh, VR headset. This one's the Oculus Rift S, which is a big step up on the CV1 uh, original Oculus Rift. The immersion that you get when using a VR headset is out of this world. You can literally feel the car moving. You just get so much more visual information when you're driving the rig, uh, when you're driving the sim. And I've had real racing drivers in my simulators doing coaching work, and they say when they're in VR like this that they have to remind themselves they're not in the real car. The downside of VR is that the image isn't quite as sharp, um, but you get so much more information in because you're in a 3D world um, about the position of the car and its movement that 
um, that's for me what makes uh, VR so much more input, uh, so much of a bonus um, and so useful, especially for our coaching needs. So definitely check that out. Four to six hundred. So our last, uh, our second to last price bracket. Every sim racer wants at some point to move on to having a H pattern gear shift, and the Fantec one comes highly recommended. Um, in terms of reality, uh, it's probably not got the same sort of real feeling as the Quaif um, H pattern gear shifter, but at a third of the price, it's just as durable, um, easily set up and um, people really highly recommend it. So the next product we have in this price range is the Husingfeld Sprint pedals. Now in my, in my mind these are the second best pedals that you can get. The ultimate uh, the, the ultimate ones are the Husingfeld Ultimates which are nearly twice the price of these uh, but they use a very similar technology. Everyone absolutely rates these and for the home sim racer and everybody up to the absolute top line professionals these are the um, a great purchase everyone loves them they've got really clever smart control software that allows you to set different profiles for each of the pedals uh, for the different cars that you're going to race in the different simulators so well worth checking out the Husingfeld sprints if you've got the money definite purchase and our last price bracket if you're somebody receiving something in this price bracket you're very lucky and we start with the cube controls and GT Sport steering wheel for this type of steering wheel this is an absolute bargain um, these come really highly recommended everyone's got a cube control steering wheel um, so many functions buttons beautiful professional um, quality steering wheel paddle shifters included um, numerous suppliers for these pedals, I've put them in the description um, but the price here I'm quoting is from Demon Tweaks however Demon Tweaks lately have been suffering with um, lead time delays or delivery delays so uh, please make sure you check with them that you can get it in time for Christmas if not maybe look around one of the other dealers and my choice in this price bracket is the Simplicity Direct Drive system and they've got various uh, versions of this this is the one that I use on my uh, professional rigs and my own personal rig it's the SW20 V3 it's got a 20 newton meter uh, midge motor and um, easily uh, controlled software it's a as far as direct drive wheels goes it's a cinch to um, install and set up I've got on my sim on my uh, website you can find products that help make these two uh, different types of sim rig so check those out um, but if your sim racing if your sim racer is looking for the next upgrade something that's going to turn his simulator from a game uh, from a toy into something uh, really realistic something that you can start being uh, much more consistent with um, then direct drive motor or direct drive wheel systems are the way to go and this at 850 quid is hundreds of pounds cheaper than the competition and in my mind and my experience just as good check out my other videos because I've done a review where I demonstrate it and we talk to one of the professional drivers that I work with about his experience of um, driving uh, this particular uh, 20 newton meter setup um, Simplicity also offer 8, 13, 15, 25 and 30 Newton meter spec uh, motors I believe, different price ranges. Uh, for me this is the best, uh, most cost effective one uh, but do check out their full range. Um, this is the one that I sell from my website um, but also check out their own website for their full range. And last product of all is the Samsung Odyssey 49 inch ultra widescreen uh, monitor. Uh, I haven't tried one myself but these come highly recommended from the forums. Lots of people seem to be getting these 
and lots of sim rig companies um, are providing rigs with these now. I think apart from, um, well, it's debatable whether a triple monitor setup is more is better or not. I think these give appear to give anyway, and from the feedback people are saying, um, give you a great field of view uh, without the need for all the sort of hardware and space that you need with the triple. Obviously, they don't give you quite the amount of um, immersion and field of view that you get. Uh, with triples, but this is kind of the next best thing. So if you know, if you're not sold on VR, if you haven't got the room for triples, um, then certainly check out this one, um, this sort of a monitor. Um, like I say, the Gal the Galaxy <laughs> Samsung Odyssey is the one that everyone seems to be talking about at the moment. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. Please uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. If you thought it was useful. I um, hope you have a wonderful Merry Christmas and I hope your, the sim racer in your life gets exactly what they um, want. Such a shame it's been a horrible year but it's been a really good year for uh, sim racing. So many people taking up the hobby, so many people getting involved um, and I think that's only uh, a good thing going forward for the future. And I think Christmas is going to be really great um, for sim racing. So until the next video, uh, oh, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. Until the next video, um, thanks very much for watching.